I'm at a very old way station. for this urbex, urban exploration sort of looking for a haunted location style of video. Uh, it's been abandoned for years now. I don't know the date exactly. But you might also notice that I'm doing this one during broad daylight, a bit of a jump from what I've been doing. It's not night out, and I won't be doing it in full spectrum. This way you can actually see any possible differences in something's coloring, for example. Since when I'm recording in just visible light, differences in color do stand out a lot more than whether I'm in, well, when I'm in full spectrum. All right, to get started, you can see there are some other structures. We might have time to get to those. <laughs> the stairs aren't what they used to be, but... <sighs> little rust on that. <sighs> Quick look around. This way station does still work, by the way. This is the scale. It's still accurate, still used locally. Not um, <laughs> infrequent enough use that the scale here, the way station, is still actively ran, as you can obviously see. Very much in disrepair but still owned locally and uh, allowed to be used locally. Which is why, as you saw, it isn't locked at all. As you can see, plenty of ceiling tiles collapse the insulation visible. Lots of standard. Oh. That's interesting, there's the sink and the label as a urinal. More evidence of how long it's been a cobweb, actually. My apologies to the spider whose home I just destroyed. Um, nothing of unique appearance here in the bathroom. Some spare ceiling tiles on an upper shelf. few light bulbs scattered around other products. You can clearly see footprints from possibly a wild cat or they look a little too large to be a wild cat with the way they, they're separated. I think it's a raccoon's prints, but I am not an expert there. This was the dock. You can see the large dock doors there. Clearly Joe was here. There's still the distinct scent of cattle. If you've ever been around a location where cattle were raised. Clearly right above me is plenty of bird activity. That's a no brainer. You can see the level of disrepair with the uh, missing chunks of the roof of the building there. That's, those bright spots aren't windows. That's just literally reach out and you're outside. Obviously the building isn't in disrepair enough that it couldn't be repaired. But for whatever reason, it's not apparently fiscally Worth it. You 
you can see one example of the age with the can here. I'm not even certain if I remember uh, a Mountain Dew can this old. Some other older cans. No smoking in plant. This is a door handle, in case you can't tell. Leading outside. That is what is outside. Maybe we can get down there and kind of check that out. I see a good route to do it. Hmm, this might be the best one. The door has a little trouble opening further. Though. That's a little better. There's a bit of a lip underneath here so that I can actually step down without having to. That smells like wine. Uh, so there's certainly something down there fermenting a little. For this, I am actually going to go ahead and, uh, well, let's see how sturdy it is. If I fall in, you guys go for help. Sturdier than I expected. Or not. A little slick. Hmm, that's kind of useful. Telephone vine. Luckily, there is some ice. A few old filters and such. <laughs> it smells like a fresh beer down here, though of some kind of fermentation is so strong. All of a sudden I feel like I'm in Half-Life 2. Not sure if I trust the ice. I'm also not certain how deep this is. Okay, definitely don't trust that ice. Well, it's got a thicker layer underneath, but uh, <laughs> Let's not test it. Trusty vine again. That's a hell of a wrench. back of the alcove there, the shape above. This is all obviously part of where the roof has collapsed down into the holding area here. It's at a bit of a slant. The fermentation smell, no doubt, from some type or amount of grain. It's a weigh scale, yes, but it's not a weigh scale at a place like a scrapyard. It's been a farming area and smell of cattle. You understand most of what they were weighing was probably grain. Some amount of uh, crop feed and such. If that is a mouse hole, that is the most cliche Hollywood mouse I have ever... Maybe it's not. Probably is. I say mouse. Probably a rat. There is also a hint of rat activity in the smell. If you've ever been around that. Back to the front desk area. And 
older trash can. Trash included. Older drawers filled with receipts and such. A free can opener. If this was an apocalyptic situation, a pretty big score. Another closet area, more drawers and such. Shelves, mostly empty. I haven't noticed anything unusual so far that isn't just an old building. Pretty dark in here. A small storage area that looks to have been part of a safe. And then some electrical. Mm, a few, an old mirror. A few boxes of some type of paperwork they used here. Then this area actually steps back out to this old door here and it has completely fallen off and the pit that we were just down in a moment ago. So let's hop out of the building now. And an old room, I almost forgot to mention the old room. And check out a few things outside and around the building. This is the actual pad for weighing that I'm standing on walking across now. That's the outside of those two large dock doors that we were just staring at. You can see that some trucks still access this area to get to the field back there. This is the opposite side of the building from what we were just on. You can see a few of these concrete pads here. I think they had grain bins on these. Oh, geez, why didn't I just use the ladder? A few old jugs, some old pieces of grain bin conveyor belt. A large pile of old cinder blocks that could be put to good use bit of an animal trail here. I'll try to use the same one. You can see at the edges of these concrete pads that, uh, and even in the cracks, they're slowly being overtaken. And once enough dirt gets on top of the pad, that seeds can grow and then die in the winter, grow again, die in the winter, go through their life cycle, build up organic material, then you won't even know these pads are underneath the ground here. More cinder blocks as we get near the back edge. Even more. You can see out behind the building, there's cattle. An old 
hydraulic fluid bucket. More large circular pads. Some old bolts and some nuts on the ground there. There's a closer look at some of that conveyor belt. A large metal cable and a tree that clearly fell over not too long ago. That building even much more collapsed than the bad side of the way station itself. Still probably worth a look. Let's go check that out. Now that we're done with the large round concrete pads. <laughs> you can actually hear one of the cows. Here's another good example of a lot of our animals stay around here. Again, I think it looks like a raccoon, mostly. Worth being careful of nails whenever you're walking over collapsed parts of wooden buildings. Clearly a chunk of it is still standing. All of this, though, is uh, entirely collapsed. That actually might be an old pile of some sort of grain. I don't think that looks like dirt. But uh, <laughs> I couldn't identify it for you. Sorry. Some old ropes for hanging something in this barn. You can see the very much damaged and rotted down uh, shingles from the roof of the building. This side of the building didn't have a concrete foundation. That part clearly does. The footing here isn't great. So excuse me if I do trip. And we're in. Just uh, behind us here, you can see some tractor tires and more conveyor belt. A little bit of loose scrap metal, oil filters, that sort of thing. Inside the building, wood that doesn't actually look that bad. A very obvious slant. <laughs> to the building if you uh, can see it there. So obviously in uh, disrepair with a chance of collapse, but I think we're okay. A small pile of insulation that apparently never, that's not insulation, what am I looking at here? Something from a brand named Dynamate. Hmm. Something added to the livestock feed according to the packaging. It apparently wasn't added to the feed, but. All right, before we continue with the building here, I'm going to go ahead and swap the batteries. Well, maybe we can... Oh, that's interesting. That old metal door up on the rafters. So that if you laid on your back, you'd be looking at it straight on. This pad had a bit of a dock. 
that extended out that way. Continuing further into the building, with this part here clearly having too weak of a floor to go around it, none of it feeling very sturdy. Bit of a risk to go in here. <laughs> All right, I think we're on a safer chunk of the floor here. Oh, hey, check it out. We disturbed somebody. That's a uh, raccoon trying to get away. Unfortunately, I, I guess we should go and not disturb him or her. It's okay, we're headed out. Lots of old barns and such have those in them out here. So instead of going in there, hop down and do a bit of a circle around the building. Nothing strange noticed so far. I can always come back at night. <sighs> well, there's probably be more animal life here then, but what I mean by that is since we didn't notice anything during the day, I can come back at night. A couple old belts. You can find countless of these behind old barns out in farm towns. small pile of parts and old Missouri license plate. Some people collect those, actually. This is all part of a concrete pad I'm standing on that sort of has been overtaken. You can see between the cracks in it, even larger trees have started to grow around the edges. Moving down here, we can see the basement underneath where that raccoon was living. You can see one of the windows there. That is the wooden area we were just in. Wooden floored area. I don't think that's a cellar door, is it? No, I, I don't think so. Steel beams holding this up. No doubt much sturdier than where we just were at. A few old containers, possibly oil and such. Shelving. Just an empty concrete building with steel housing and quite a few cool bird nests. Practically bird hotel in here. So at least we did get to see a couple cool things. A raccoon and some bird nests, but unfortunately nothing that seemed paranormal or supernatural. I didn't hear any strange noises. Most of what I heard was these cows and a few vehicles driving by occasionally. I suppose I can give you a quick look at some of the cows. Yep, cows. <laughs> so unfortunately nothing strange or paranormal unusual but I do hope you enjoyed the exploration of the building I had fun always interesting and thanks for watching if you like this be sure to let me know but there will almost certainly be more Rebexes in the future either way sort of a requirement isn't it I mean, the only way to find old, spooky, abandoned, haunted houses is for somebody eventually to go into the normal abandoned house and discover something spooky or that would end up getting it called haunted. So, thanks again. Leave any comments or suggestions below. Stuff like cool raccoon, raccoon nice cows, that sort of thing. And until... Uh, next time, next update. If you have any suggestions for places in Missouri, be sure to toss those out too. Thanks again.